We're going to begin, though, with major progress on getting Metro Detroit vaccinated on a number of fronts. From Detroit to Macomb County, new ways rolling out right now to ensure seniors get their shots. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 5. We're going to talk about what Detroit is doing in a moment. Let's start, though, today in Macomb County, where seniors have spent weeks trying to get their vaccines. The county is opening a new vaccination site at the Sterling Heights Senior Center, and it's for people age 60 and over. Larry Spruill shows us how it's filling a critical need at a critical time. This center is the second community based site that will be offering vaccines. Now, county leaders say this is another way to help out the most vulnerable groups. 60 year old Tom Wysocki lives in Macomb County. His wife is in the medical field, so he knows all about the vaccine process and the importance of getting one. Logistically, it's a huge task, so I, I think everybody's full court press. Wysocki says for months he's been waiting his turn to get the vaccine because he was under that age requirement of 65 years old. But now Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle says the county is lowering that age. I'm encouraging you to sign up a senior 60 years of age and older on that list. Anyone who's a resident of Macomb County who's 60 and older, get them on that list. And they're adding this Sterling Heights Senior Center on Utica Road as a second location to help give out the shots when they are available. Uh, we've decided that this is going to be one of the sites that's going to host uh, the vaccination process. It's open to all senior citizens in Macomb County. And when I see senior citizens, I'm talking 60 and older. Wysocki says the second site is a great idea. Yeah, the more the more places, the better. Are you waiting to get the vaccine yourself? Or? I, I, I am, yeah. And so Hackle says he wants more vaccines so he can help out more people as well. As for the new center, he says that that is able to help out more eligible populations if needed. In the county, we're live tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Yeah, good to hear, Larry. I'm wondering, though, folks are still going to need an appointment, right? Yeah, Kimberly. So, yeah, you have to make an appointment if you want to get a vaccine at this center. It's really simple. You call a number, you put your name on a list. We have all that information on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Kimberly. Okay, Larry, thanks.